you're here to get part two of my review on the ultimatum from Netflix and I'm here because I need to talk about the decision day in terms of the new couples Ugh. let's kill two birds with one stone shall we child <laughs> When I tell you this episode made me tired, <laughs> this episode made me tired. I can't remember if it was like in two parts because like I said, I binged the whole series. But okay, let's start off with the couples that came through. The couples that came through are Alexis and Hunter, Madeline and Kobe, Ray and Zay, um, Shanique and Randall, Lauren and Nate, and April and Jake. And I mean, I find all these reasonings that the people that don't want to get married, a lot of their reasonings is they want to do things first and they want to um, have the right amount of money saved up first. Um, and a lot of the people were just aren't here for it. So what do you guys think about that? Like what needs to be in order for you before you get married? And for me, what needs to be in order like at this stage in life <laughs> like when I was younger it was definitely something different when I was like in my 20s and I was like their age and stuff like that it was definitely something different right like uh, the things that they have what were what they seem to have um but I think that would be fine for me to get married it will be more so uh, of the um like I need to find out what's in your background. I need to find out like uh, your commitment towards marriage. Like what does marriage mean to you? That kind of thing. That's the kind of stuff that I, you know, that at that age would need. But now, I mean, more so that's um, what I'm looking for, but also, you know, finances do play a big role in it. Like, cause I'm not rich and I'm not expecting I mean, it would be great, you know, if who I end up with is rich, but I'm not expecting my man to be like rich or whatever. But you know, if I can sustain my life and you can sustain your life and we can come together, we can sustain a life in terms of finances. Um, but yeah, what are some of the things that you guys need before you get married? I want to know that. So anyway, let's get into this decision day, right? So. They go into a dinner, Link Nashay and his wife, they bring all the couples into a dinner and all the people who gave the ultimatum are standing up and they're choosing who they want to choose for um, to go into the next three weeks with to have like a trial marriage, right? So um, April and Kobe end up together. And the way that April and Kobe end up together, <laughs> I really thought April was going to end, um, not April, I thought Kobe was going to end up with Lauren. And I thought for, this, for the sake of the show, um, I thought that would have been nice. However, Lauren's man, Nate, he threw a wrench in there and he just like decided to propose. Now he was the second one to propose, but okay, so we talking like, how did y'all, how did y'all feel? Like, so I know you watch the show like, okay we know hunter proposed and then nate proposed like what did you guys think about that i mean i'm not gonna lie like well comment below what did you think like before i give my spiel but i was thinking along the lines of kobe because i'm like okay like <laughs> where did this come from you know um not in the sense like he never should question like four days versus like two years like of course never question that you know what i mean but i think what he was saying is the experiment has only gone on for four days can you let the experiment go on further because and i think that i think that um that was i think that was nate tail mary like i really do because when shanique picked zay instead of nate and this could just be production but the camera panned on over to Nate's face and he was looking like, oh, she should have chosen me. Which I feel in my heart, like, I feel like she should have chose um, Nate too instead of Zay. But whatever. <laughs> um, but if, if she had chosen Nate, I definitely think Nate would have gone along with the process. And then I honestly think that um, Lauren would have gone really good with Kobe in the process. Um, but with that didn't happen, and then 
um, he looks over to Madeline um, and Matt, he tells Madeline like in the next 10 minutes, I'm going to choose you like so that we can do. So his two were, um, were Shanique and Madeline. His, I think his two choices were Shanique and then if he couldn't get Shanique, he wanted to get Madeline. And since both of those two were taken, <laughs> he was just like, I'm not about to be ending up with, uh, what's her name? I'm not finna end up with Alexis and I'm not finna end up with April. And so that's when he just went and proposed to his um, girl. That's my, you can say what you wanna say. Those are my thoughts. He also could have had the moment where he realized I've already, this table, I'm seeing what else is out here. And <laughs> baby, we can work on this not kids thing. Now he could have come to that realization or he could have had something completely different in his brain. But th from the way production made it seem, that was a Hail Mary. And he was like, it's either these two girls or nothing at all. Now I think, like I said, if Shanique had chosen him, I really think they would have been fine. Um, but that was just a mess. But when, so the first proposal that happened was um, Hunter and Alexis. So Hunter went over and proposed to Alexis so that they can eliminate themselves from the show. He felt like he had enough of the experiment because April actually said, um, I think that she wanted to try with Hunter. And I'm like, okay, but I think the thing is like, it seemed like nobody was actually gunning for Alexis. Beautiful girl. I don't, I don't know why. I don't know if she had that financial um, conversation with everybody and they kind of knew what was going on with that or what. But it seemed like okay, if Hunter and April could have been in the situation, that would have been um, more of a situation where they would see okay, what is it like to actually be with someone else? That would have, to me, that would have been more fitting in terms of the couples. So, yeah, so these two proposals, they really threw a wrench in the night. And then what I do like, Kobe was like, well, I'm not gonna lie, like, it was not my choice, but I'm gonna make the best of this situation. And like, they developed a beautiful friendship <laughs> throughout the course of the show. It wasn't like what, you know, they wanted to see, but it was a beautiful friendship throughout the course of the show. And, um, but I really do think that April was really obsessive over her man, which is Jake. And so she was having such a, you know, such a, a hard time with like letting him go, even though she gave him the ultimatum, which I'm like, girl, you don't want to give the ultimate. Like one side of me is like, girl, you don't want to give the ultimatum. Like, what are you tripping about? Like get it together and then the other side of me is like even if i gave the ultimatum i only did this to man like technically it's like for her case i would say i technically i only did this to manipulate the situation so that he would see like i can thrive with someone else and he'll come back to me and for me ultimatums are kind of like manipulation in a way and I'm not saying she's a man manipulative person, but an ultimatum is a way to manipulate the situation or a person or something like that. What do you guys think about that? I know we kind of talked about it, <clears throat> excuse me, in the previous video, but what do you guys think about ultimatums? I kind of, I'm feeling like the more that I talk about them, I'm feeling like it's a way to control a person. If you actually want the person to succumb to the ultimatum, it's a way to control them. Or maybe it's not a, it's not, maybe not, that might not be your desire to control them, but that if they do choose what you want them to choose, that was the outcome. And to me, that's no good for anybody because it's just like, are you always just gonna like think you can just get your way by manipulating me? I don't know. Am I thinking wrong about ultimatums? Like, what are you guys thinking about that? I don't know. But then in the dating phase, Shanique's mom definitely said something, but we'll talk about it in the next video because we've definitely been chatting it up, chat, chat, chatting it up about this ultimatum, um, the choice day. So the couples that ended up happening, I was fine with them, except for one of them. I was just like, uh, but I didn't talk about which one that is. <laughs> 
<laughs> now, which couples did you guys um, like? Who did you think should have ended up with who? And um, let me know down in the comments. Also, don't forget to like this video. I will have a part three talking about the things that happened in the dating phase. Um, but also, up until now, like what was your favorite part of the show? I think my favorite part of the show was um, up until now was because that I'm not gonna lie those proposals proposals are supposed to be such a happy time but they were kind of a letdown because it's like I wanted to see the experiment play out now I'm not gonna lie I feel like this experiment is messy and I don't like like in my gut I always want to see couples work things out like I always want to see that I think as a child that came from like a divorced home it's like I always wanted to see well what would happen if you work it out like what would happen if you decide to you know choose each other um <clears throat> but um I don't know I don't think I have a favorite moment so the show is juicy but I don't feel like I have a favorite moment at all Oh, actually, I do have one, and that'll come up in the next episode. <laughs> so you got to stay tuned and turn on these bell notifications once you subscribe to the channel um, if you want to find out what my favorite moment is. All right, never forget that no matter what goes on in life, you are never fully dressed without your smile. So keep your smile on. I'll see you next time.